Hi everyone. At the recent MuseScore AGM, the development team outlined some of the next steps for MuseScore software, including the release of MuseScore 4.1, which is due to come out sometime around 2023. We know that delays could still push that back, but that's a big improvement over the long wait between MuseScore 3 and MuseScore 4, which happened because of the major structural changes that had to happen to allow the software to move forward. So, what can we expect in MuseScore 4.1? Well, a whole bunch of improvements and fixes. On the GitHub project page for MuseScore 4.1, we can see how the development is going. And right at the end here in the done, they've just done so many things already. So this development team has been really, really busy. And of course, the Muse Sounds team is also continuing to tweak the existing sounds and add new sounds. But the first big improvement that I'd like to discuss that I'm excited for in MuseScore 4.1 is auxiliary sends or auxiliary buses. It doesn't sound so amazing when you say it, but it's going to make a huge difference to the way that we use Muse sounds. It's going to make a small difference to the sound we get, but a big performance difference, and that's because of the reverb that Muse sounds currently has built in. For anyone unfamiliar with the term, reverb, short for reverberation, is the reflections of a sound source that add to our perception of a sound. So we know that sound from an instrument travels through the air to our ears, but that sound also goes out in all directions and bounces off objects in the space that we're in, like walls, floors, desk, computer, whatever. Some of these reflections also reach our ears and give our brains a clue as to the kind of space the sound is in. That's why the same instrument can sound very different when it's in a concert hall or in a bathroom. This can also be done by computers by making many copies of a sound and adjusting the volume and EQ of the various copies, then adding that back to the original sound at delayed times. Now, making all of these copies of a sound is quite a resource-hungry process, particularly on the CPU. For now, we're going to think of it like building a room for the sound. Like many people, I had previously thought that the reverb in Muse sounds was built into the samples, but it turns out that that isn't the case. Apparently, every time a Muse sounds instrument is used, the reverb is added to that instrument. So it's like building a room for each instrument to get that warm reverb sound. that we didn't have in MuseScore 3. When you only have a couple of instruments, that doesn't make much of a difference. But if you can imagine building rooms for a whole orchestra of instruments, you can see how this is going to be a big deal. By having an auxiliary sends and an auxiliary bus, we can make a copy of each of the dry sounds of the instruments and send it to a single reverb effect. So basically, like just building a single room and putting all of the instruments in there together. So we can expect to see big improvements in performance, most likely CPU performance, when using Muse sounds once the auxiliary bus system is in place and working, and the Muse sounds have been adapted to work with it. Martin Keary was suggesting that this could be up to 60% better performance, which is huge for those of us who don't have supercomputers, but still want to make great sounding music. It will also give us the control to create a more intimate sound if we want to use a chamber group, or a more lush cinematic orchestral sound by changing the size of the room and perhaps the length of the reverb in the effect, and also how much reverb is added to the end product. As an extra bonus, having these auxiliary tracks will also allow us to EQ groups of instruments or add other effects to groups of instruments. So for instance, I could apply a low pass filter on all of the strings to create an effect of being further away, and so on. As MuseScore 4.1 is only due to be released around, we're going to have to be patient for this, but I'll be sure to test it out as soon as it's available so that we can see the benefits. There are also plenty of other improvements on the way for MuseScore, so if you'd like me to keep you updated, feel free to subscribe. Bye.